Hey guys, it's Dan from Soy Leader, and today I'm excited to announce a new product we have to offer, the Belt Mounted Tourniquet Holder version 3. We've paired up with Coyote Tactical Solutions to bring you the next generation of Belt Mounted Tourniquet Holder, as you can see here. Before we dive into it, I just want to show you what you'll be getting when you order one. It'll come in a package like this, you'll rip it open, inside you're going to have a 12 inch section of one wrap in whatever color tourniquet holder you purchase. You're going to have the body of the tourniquet holder which is elastic with squadron on the back. I'll get more into that in a minute. You're going to have an IR cell on one side or a high vis cell on the other. And last but not least, you're going to have the hood. So with the belt mount tourniquet holder version 3, it's going to have a 4 inch elastic on the outside, one to hold the tourniquet, one to hold your Sharpie, your decompression needle or glow stick. If you're hungry on the range, you can put a Slim Jim in it. That's up to you. On the back side, we have uh, squadron material here and with that you're going to have as you can see half inch adjustments for molly and pals webbing as well as four slits on the sides for horizontal mounting options. Inside you're going to have a sleeve here where you can attach the hood of the tourniquet holder. Now you'll notice here this hood's all laser cut and on the back side is a little opening where you can put this cell inside of it. So you can keep it empty if you'd like or you can use the IR reflective side or the high vis side depending on what you're using. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna put the IR reflective in the sleeve right here. Push it down in there, re-invert it. And as you can see there, you've got the black IR reflective cell inside. As a right-handed shooter, I personally like to have the pen or decompression needle facing up, but it is fully ambidextrous so you can have it facing down. And whether you're left-handed, you can have it upright or down as well. Same thing for if you're mounting this vertically. You can have it on the left side or you can have it on the right side, up to you. So you're going to insert the hood using the uh, loop Velcro inside the channel here, which has hook Velcro. You're going to slide it in there, get nice and tight, make sure it seals. And as you can see there, now you have the hood attached to the body of the tourniquet holder. We gave you a one foot section of one wrap. All right, this is hook on one side, loop on the other side. So no more, you're gonna have to email us and try to figure out what side belt you have based on having a Lead Devil or Ronin Tactics belt, or if you have a GBS, GBRS belt, which switches the hook and loop for the inner and outer belt. So depending on what, si what style belt you have, I would recommend cutting this in half. You're gonna weave this through the slits of the body of the tourniquet holder, depending on what side your inner and outer belt is. And again, you're gonna want that to match up with whatever belt you have, right? So the hook side's gonna attach to, I'm sorry, the loop side's gonna attach to the hook, and that way you have more hook real estate that you've come to love with the original version one and version twos. So again, you're adding Velcro real estate to the tourniquet holder. So what's nice about the new tourniquet holder version three is that it can, you mount it can be mounted horizontally or vertically. So you can see here, I've got the original style right here where it's mounted horizontally. Most people run it in front of their gun, whether you're right-handed or left-handed. And as you can see here on the back, you're still adding that hook real estate or loop real estate, depending on what belt you're using. So that's the standard way of mounting it right here. Again, this uh, hood now is now covering the windlass retainer. So you're not gonna get any debris or any snag hazards anymore on the uh, windlass retainer. And as you can see here, it works from any belt from a one inch concealed carry, you can wear this for concealed carry, as well as all the way up to a two inch, two and, uh, two and three quarter, it doesn't matter. Really, we give you a one foot of one wrap so you can basically attach this on anything. So as you can see here, this is a standard leather duty belt and here I have it mounted in the vertical configuration. Another thing cool here that you guys have asked for for a long time now is a Molly mounted option. So that's exactly what we got you. As you can see here, it's mounted on the side of this JPC 2.0, right on the cummerbund. Uh, with those half inch adjustments, you're able to adjust the ride height to exactly what you want. So it's not interfering with your arms or with your sling. So again, fully adjustable, uh, a lot of room to play with there. As you can see here, I've got a decompression needle, but again, it'll hold any of those Sharpies uh, as, well as, as well as your standard uh, chem light as well. Uh, with that, 
It will be offered right now on release in Multicam, Black, Coyote, Ranger Green, and Wolf Gray. And I've got Multicam Black on the way for you. So if you have any questions, feel free to email us at dan at Soilator or send us a DM. Thank you. Have a good day.